Hi guys, Planning with Alo here for you. Today I am going to be doing a flip through of my brand new planner. Yes, you are seeing this correctly. I know that I had done a flip through of my Undyed Gilio about two weeks ago. That's only like two videos back, I believe. And I had this one on its way to me from the AliExpress website, which is where I got it from. Yes, I will make sure to link it down below as I do get a bunch of questions on my Instagram about it once I got it, you know, because I showed uh, I showed it on there. And so the thing is that I was not able to add a clickable link to my stories or save it onto my highlights so I just kind of typed it out for you guys or you know for my followers but like I said it was not clickable because I do not have 10,000 followers which is what you need in order to have it so I thought I would do a review slash flip through slash showing of it that way I can link it on my YouTube channel and I can refer people back to my channel when they ask me for it so as you can see, this is a, I don't know what color to say it is, and I completely forgot the color that the website mentions, but I will say on the website it looks like a stone gray color, and it's completely not. So if you can tell, it's more of a taupe beige white color, it's the, or at least that's the color I see it. And it does come with a fly leaf, which is up here in the front. It does come with an elasticized pen loop, and it also has the back pocket. Now, if you can see, the leather is extremely floppy on this. I do feel like whoever made this planner put too much fabric or leather on here, and you have kind of like a lot of it left over sort of that's just kind of how it feels to me but it really doesn't take away from the planner at least in my personal opinion it doesn't and also I love how much leather they used for the class because I have a mild liner and a pen in the front and usually that would like interfere with my dividers on other planners and it would kind of like bend them but this one completely doesn't it has much room like enough room I mean to be able to close it and I feel like I could even add a third pin in there and it would still not matter so I do love that about that the pocket configuration in the front reminds me a lot of the um what is it the vander spec I always confuse it <laughs> but it reminds me a lot of the standard vander spec pocket configuration you have a secretarial pocket here you have the like diagonal one a pocket here and then a zipper in here which is completely like it's completely um what am I trying to say like you can open this so much it's so flexible and I love that and I do store a couple of my stencils in there and the pocket I mean sorry the fly leaf itself has two card slots on the back of it so I feel like there's so much room in this planner and in the back you have another secretarial pocket and one two three four card slots which I'm not using my planner as my wallet anymore I used to but I stopped doing that so I mean just if you were trying to look into this planner as a wallet then you will definitely be able to use it like that because of the pocket configuration so I will say something about the rings there's another girl on here on YouTube and I will link her video down below she's the main reason why I got this planner but hers was a black color and she did a review on on hers as well and she did mention how she did not like the rings because the rings kind of like the closing of the rings are kind of slanted towards the right instead of being in the middle so that kind of like prohibited her to flip her pages correctly and that was kind of like a pet peeve to her but I mean to me it, it it's working fine I mean I'm, I'm loving it so far and I feel like this is a perfect dupe for a Gilio, um planner 
because of the leather, because of the config the pocket configuration. I mean the quality is great. I paid about 80 bucks for this. And if you compare that to a Gilio, which is like over $200, then you got yourself a deal. So if the ring little issue does not bother you as much as I, it, you know, it bothers other people. Because, I mean, it, like I said, it doesn't bother me. Then I think you're good. You're good to go. So going into the flip through, I decided, okay, so I've been on like this bench for going into minimal planning for a really long time and it's kind of taken a lot of me to learn how to do it because I mean even though it's so simple it's like you try to put it together but then it's like oh this die cut would look so cute here and then somehow I just always end up like having a bunch of die cuts in there so I'm trying to like step away from using die cuts I love the deco and I love how other people set up their planners like super chunky full of colorful stuff and etc but I feel like it takes away my attention towards making it making my planner look more pretty and presentable on Instagram rather than actually using it and using it in a functional way and helping me stay organized if that makes any sense so I went ahead and ordered a new set of dividers and as you can see they're like just clear dividers they're not frosted it's basically a see-through vellum and then the girl laminated them and she did an amazing job I really like them and I will link her shop below her name is Emmy plants on Instagram and I believe her shop is Emmy designs if I'm not mistaken so on the front pocket here I kept it very simple I have a couple of the peanuts planner co um, sticky notes just the grid one and then the blossoms co Chanel clip that is a custom order that I requested to her and I just love this little clip I have seen it on somebody else's Instagram and I just knew that you know she's the only shop that I know that does these kind of stuff so in the pocket I just have oh okay where's my other one okay here it is because this one's really tiny so I kind of have to dig through it because the pocket is so big like I said so I just have my on the go little stencil my Stadler stencil that I cut in half and then my colorful posted page flags that I use all of the time they're like all over my Instagram and in the flyleaf I clipped the uh, pencil loop and then I just have a little clip up here from Michaels to just kind of like clip any receipts or notes that I need to have on there and then I put a die cut up on here and I just really like it I mean it's super minimal super straight to the point I love coffee and I curse a lot <laughs> and I just thought that this was so cute I got this little idea from Erica plants on Instagram she had this little die cut and I asked her where she got it and she said Pinterest so I went on oh actually no she I think she sent me the link of the Pinterest page and I just printed it and laminated it and put it on here and it just says a cup of get shit done and I just thought it would be perfect to have it in the front because it's just like a daily reminder of get your stuff done you know and in the front I have just a simple little ch checklist um, sticky note from Peanuts Planner Co. of a couple of stuff that I have to do. I highlight it and cross it out as I do the task and that's just like daily reminders of whatever I have going on either during the week, during the month. It's very like, it's very general stuff. It's nothing specific. And then I just have a couple of marble heart sticky notes on there. You are going to see a lot of glare throughout the video because I just I try to work with my lighting but I have pretty shitty lighting so I do apologize for that but the glare will come from the dividers and there's nothing I can do about it I mean they're are all laminated so you will get that so 
in the first section I decided to keep of course my yearly view and all of my monthly views I only have two months worth of the monthlies in there and then my important dates insert that has all of my goals for the year and I do try to do my goals per month that way I don't get overwhelmed about them and then the second section I have oh and I forgot to mention I do tend to label the I do intend to label the dividers but I am waiting to get the clear tape for the brother label maker that I got at Office Depot a while back ago and I got the wrong one so the store didn't have it and I think Staples has it but I didn't have I haven't had time to go over to the store and get it so I did order it on Amazon and I mean I ordered the clear label tape because I want to label the dividers with the um, the clear tape that way you can just kind of see the black lettering i think that just looks so neat and i got that idea from harzilla plants and maddie plants so excuse me going back i have the second section which is my weekly one in the front i just have another again <laughs> a sticky note from peanuts planner co mentioning all of the days and then meanwhile i get the label um, the tape label I decided to write out like my repeated except this one I put this one just to save it but my repeated tasks I have during the week so every Tuesday um, we have the trash come and pick I mean the the trash people come pick up the trash from the neighborhood and then Saturday and Sunday are usually our laundry fold and hanging etc days and so let me put this back in here before I forget and then just throw it away so I just kind of get tired of rewriting the tasks because I do them every week or we do them every week and so I thought this was a perfect idea another idea also from Harzilla Plants thank you girl and it goes directly into my weekly so I just kept that in the front to remind me and then whenever I do have the week coming up basically I can just take the page flag go into my weekly and then just put it on there to remind me and I can just put it back in here and then use it the next week so I feel like that makes a lot of sense I will say the dividers from Emmy Plants are bigger than the inserts themselves and I mean to me that's precious I feel like it's protecting my dividers and it doesn't give any room like to I don't know for anything to kind of like spill on there I feel so I really like the fact that they're much much wider taller and bigger than the inserts I have in here and like I was saying so in here I also have I left a little acetate with the white polka dots I love how everything looks white and clear I feel like it, it looks very um, neat and I just have some extra little sticky notes on there and then it goes directly of course into my weeklies which you guys have seen before I use the peanuts planner code DR 105 and this is the way that I use them so I just have a bunch of them in there then I have my removable um, page marker from Ashy Lay Designs with a couple of notes on there. This is the week that we are currently on. I am filming on Sunday and then this is my upcoming week which I need to put in the inserts. So I do keep track of like a bunch of work to do's on my weeklies. This section up here is what I use. But I decided to stop doing that because there's weeks that I have a bunch of stuff to do at work and I feel like I don't have enough space. So sometimes I want to come back to having a work section in my planner, which is what I'm going to begin doing. And it's this one right here. This little dashboard with my initial at the front is also from Emmy Plants. She sent it to me with the dividers. And in the back of that dashboard, I have a sticky note with my daily tasks for work. And then I go right into my 
my weekly spreads but this is just designated for work stuff and I decided to use these I'm going to try these out and this is tomorrow's Monday so tomorrow will be my first day uh, at an attempt to use these and I'll see how I like them so I kind of started filling them out but these are freebies from the peanuts planner co Facebook group and yeah and then I go into my third section so before I mention about this well actually let me just get it over with it's just a couple of deco I cannot get rid of this I just really love this section I feel like it says a lot about me and then in the back since it is a pocket I just have a couple of um what are they business cards and like I was saying, so going into all of my sections in here, which I have a bunch, I have a total of 10 sections, I believe. And let me take this out because the glare is super bad. So hold on. All right. I think that's a little better. So yeah, so in the front of every divider, before I label it, you know, or I mean, once I label it, I'm still going to leave all of the indexes I have. So in my previous setup, I had a, an, a Peanuts Planner Co. insert as my index. And I think it was just like the checklist insert. And that worked great. But I felt like if I needed to change anything or the order of anything that I had in, in that section, I felt like I had to redo the index all over because I want to have the index organized in the order that I have the inserts you know so I decided to use the Peanuts Planner Co sticky notes to do that and I just think that they're perfect because if anything changes I can just take this off of the planner remake another one and I'll be at peace with myself mentally and all that stuff so they're just perfect for it the first section here is my mental health index so if you could see i have appointments mood tracker a self-love log a book log a journal slash read slash therapy log a sleeping log motivational quotes personal projects jj and alo that's my boyfriend and i and then i just have a little sticky note not a sticky note a little page flag um with the uh, label health on there just to remind me so in an example this tab would be labeled um oh i left a note somewhere on there but okay let's go back here basically this would be like yearly or monthly weeklies and well that's gonna be my work and then in here i would just do probably either health or mental because the little spaces are very little so I'm still trying to figure all that out, as you can tell, <laughs> since I'm all over the place. Um, but you guys are here to help me figure it out, right? So, yeah. So, like I was saying, that goes into all of those inserts. And then I just have a piece of little vellum from Hobby Lobby on there. And then all of the inserts that I previously mentioned. So, the appointments, the mood tracker, the self-love log, which is also a inspiration from Harzilla plants so she basically just like or we basically just put the date on the little checklist um space and then per day we write out something that was a good what am I trying to say like a good reminder of something good that you did for yourself instead of beating yourself up for not getting something done if if you know what I'm saying so I just thought that was a great idea so I decided to implement it into my um setup and then I have the book log which is all of the books that I either currently reading or that I want to read and then I have my tracker my yearly tracker for my journaling my reading and my therapy appointments and then this is a new tracker that I am implementing I want to track how much I sleep because that does have to do like that affects my mood and my day-to-day -day life a lot because I love my sleep and but I've been struggling to sleep lately so I decided to go ahead and track it so what I did is I just used a yearly tracker and I since I'm starting this in May that's obviously where I started tracking and then I have motivational quotes and then this little die cut that says badass in Spanish from Ruthie Plants. 
and so yeah and then I just have a bunch of clear like pages for any notes that I want to take oops I skipped a section then I have my personal projects in here and extra inserts and then since is this since this is basically fashion but it, it does pertain to me and to my confidence I guess if you can say and all that stuff I just have my little spring fashion board that I did or I created in canva.com and then I have a bunch of notes on dates that JJ which is my boyfriend and I would want to go to and that concludes that section and then I go into my fitness so all of the three that are coming up I believe are all pertaining to my well-being to my mental well-being to my physical well-being to my wellness basically so the second one I have the fitness index and then in here I just have my workout trackers body measurements period tracker my water tracker my meal prep notes and recipes and I just have my little like um what is this Ugh, I cannot I can't what the hell I can't talk today guys I'm sorry <laughs> this is my vision board for like health I guess so I just have like some cute black and white pictures that I took from Pinterest and put it in a, in a um, canva.com little you see I, I, I don't know what I'm saying y'all know what I'm talking about y'all know what I'm trying to say and then I decided to put the hollow paper on the top so I think that you guys can see it you see how it like sparkles so pretty and then in the back this is another idea and I got this one from I forgot her name I'm so sorry she has kind of like a long name but I thought this was a genius idea and she actually uses her at hers as her cleaning schedule and I thought it'd be perfect to use it for my workout schedule over the week so if I want to do cardio on I don't know Saturday and I had already wrote it on here well I can actually switch it kind of like in the front when I did my repeated tasks this is the same thing because I'll be doing you know the the usually the same workouts throughout the week but I kind of change up the days so that way let's say if I wanted to take a nature walk on Monday instead of Wednesday I could just switch the page flags on over and I just think that's so great and I also use the same sticky note to categorize the tracker that I have over here so I you know do the this is kind of like my key so the check mark means this the lines means blah 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 so I'm, I'm sure that makes sense and that's just a this is part of the yearly bundle from peanuts planner co then I have more white and see-through acetate with a pocket just in case I want to put anything in there my body measurements inserts and this is my period tracker inserts and this is my water tracker I love how it looks all filled out so I've had that forever and then I just thought it went well with this little planner society sticky note that I got in happy mail because you know even though it's lemonade it pertains to like drinking something and I just think that that looks so cute for summer and then I have meal prep notes as well as a bunch of breakfast ideas just notes for myself a cleansing recipe sort of note taking that I I did and then the following section is my notes section which I have a YouTube calendar and add to planner inserts makeup notes test um, what I don't understand my own handwriting <laughs> anyways we'll see what it is and then miscellaneous notes so this is the perpetual calendar that I use for YouTube and to write out my ideas I just did a sticky note up here because I do have a social media planner which I've showed in my channel before but I would like to have you know something on the go so whenever I'm out and about and I have a YouTube idea I can just look at it so then I have my add to planner insert this is the makeup reference oh this is what it is so this holds like a couple of tattoo ideas that I wrote down and I've had that in there forever and then I just have a bunch of well not a bunch I just have like two pages with random notes and random um, highlighter and pen testing and then the following section has I didn't do an index for this one because it doesn't have much in here this is basically my home section and it involves a lot of like my cleaning stuff 
whatever I have to do like make bed, the dishes, wipe counters, etc, etc. And I don't have any particular system to my cleaning. I just kind of clean every day. I try to do a little quick 15 pickup, tidy up, it's whatever you want to call it, little routine. And that way I feel like the house maintains as clean as possible throughout the week. And then I have my finance section. Now in here I did put an index. And this one holds my paydays, online orders, my bill trackers, my monthly expenses, and my banking information. This is a new little thing that I did also with the Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I feel like I said Peanuts Planner Co. in this video for like ever. <laughs> and uh, like I was saying, so the sticky note just kind of lists out all of my bills and when they're due because I do notice that whenever I'm filling out the insert that I use for my paydays which lets me know the pay date like the, when I'm receiving the check and everything I need to set aside for that day um, I'm always going back to my like yearly uh, view to see okay this day you know this is due so that way I have the reminder here and then the amounts and also my weekly expenses which I do the envelope system for which is my gas my grocery and personal stuff which does include planner stuff and then I have all of my bills listed out as well as my budget which has my everyday expenses and I track these per month so I save all of my receipts and then at the end of the um, at the end of the month I just go ahead and log them all in and then this sticky note is for any notes then this is private information for my banking stuff and then the the other section I have on here just holds like my to buy so everything I have for wish lists and this little die cut that I made myself from Pinterest so this is my wish list list and then my grocery guide list and you see I'm kinda having trouble flipping all the way to the back because it's already super full so then I have, like I said, the grocery guide and just a bunch of note pages. And then the last section is my passwords and contacts, which I will not flip through because I don't think I covered those. But And then in the back, I just have, like, oh, like I've always had, this little pocket that came with the, one of the Filofax um, planners. And I just have receipts and I just stick like miscellaneous stuff in there. And then in the back, this little cute dashboard with this die cut from Pinterest as well. And also in the back, I just kept this little die cut because I think it's so cute. And since there was nothing in there, I just thought it would go perfectly in there. So I hope I went through it like, oh, and I forgot. Yeah, I have this little charm from Drew Plants. And I'm talking really fast. That's what I said. I hope that I went through everything um, as detailed as possible because I'm about to run out of time to record so that's why I was kind of like hurrying it through but it's super simple you guys I am so content with this and yeah so thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video bye